Hey everyone, welcome back to Park and Post. Have you ever wondered when the best time is to buy airline tickets to get the cheapest flights? The day and month that you buy airline tickets can have a huge impact on the prices you'll pay. Ticket prices are constantly fluctuating based on supply, demand, sales, and more. With some strategic timing on when you book, you can save quite a bit of money. Choosing the right days and months to purchase your tickets can help you save a lot of money on airfare. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and advice on how to find and book the most affordable airline tickets by buying at the best times. Let's get started. Book early. In general, the earlier you book your flight, the better deal you'll get. Airlines typically open up bookings around 10 to 11 months in advance of the travel date. When flights are first listed, the airline wants to fill up seats, so prices start off on the lower side before gradually going up as demand increases. Ideally, you'll want to book about three months in advance for the lowest fares. This balances letting prices settle while also getting in before all the cheap seats are snatched up. Last-minute tickets rarely offer the most savings unless you're extremely flexible. Be flexible with travel dates. If your schedule allows any wiggle room, look at prices over a range of dates instead of just the single days you had in mind. Flying even just a day or two earlier or later can make a huge difference in the cost of airfare. Sites like Kayak and Google Flights make it easy to check a range of dates on each side. Sometimes you'll spot a great price on the calendar that saves you $100 or more just by flying Thursday instead of Friday, for example. Weekends are generally more expensive, so departing on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Saturday can mean big savings. Fly midweek. For most routes, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays are generally the cheapest days to fly. The most expensive days to depart are Fridays and Sundays, when both business and leisure travelers are flying. This holds true both for domestic and international flights. Weekends, especially Sundays, are popular for both business and leisure travelers, so demand drives up the prices. Flying midweek on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Saturday can save you $100 or more on each leg of your trip compared to the weekends. Look for red-eye flights. One great way to find cheaper airfare is to book red-eye flights. Red-eye flights depart very late at night, usually after 10 or 11 p.m., and arrive at your destination early the next morning. Because they are at less convenient times, red-eye flights tend to be lower in demand. With fewer travelers willing to book these overnight flights, airlines will discount them heavily in order to fill seats. The savings can be substantial, often hundreds of dollars below an equivalent daytime flight. If you don't mind flying through the night and potentially disrupting your sleep schedule a bit, booking a red-eye can be a small sacrifice for big savings. As long as you prepare properly by sleeping well the night before your flight and catching up on rest once you arrive, flying red-eye can be an easy way to score huge discounts. Just having eye masks, earplugs, and neck pillows ready will help you get as comfortable as possible for sleeping on the plane. Considering just how much cheaper red-eye flights are, they are an excellent budget-friendly option worth looking into if you want to save money on your next trip. Book domestic flights on Tuesdays. When it comes to getting cheap domestic flights within the United States, Tuesdays tend to be the best day of the week to book your tickets. Around 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesdays, many airlines will launch sales and promotions to fill seats for travel within the U.S. These airline fare sales often go live late Monday and by Tuesday afternoon, competing airlines have matched the lowered prices. The reasoning behind Tuesday afternoons being ideal booking times is that airlines want to stimulate ticket sales early in the week leading up to the busy travel periods at the end of the week. By offering sales on Monday nights, they get travelers interested in booking discounted domestic fares right away on Tuesdays. Other airlines see these lower prices and match them with sales of their own to stay competitive. So Tuesday afternoons end up having a nice selection of lowered fares to choose from. The trick is to compare prices across different airlines and routes to find the best Tuesday flight deals. Being flexible on your origin city and destination airport can also help you take advantage of the best sales and discounts when booking domestic flights on Tuesdays. Shop on Wednesdays for international flights. 
For getting the best deals on international flights, try booking your tickets on Wednesdays. Many airlines around the world launch weekly promotions and lowered fares on Wednesdays specifically for international routes. The reasoning is that by the middle of the week, airlines want to boost international bookings to fill seats before the busy weekend travel period begins. With multiple airlines competing for sales, Wednesday ends up being a prime day for finding discounted economy seats and flights to destinations abroad. The international fare sales and reductions tend to go live early Wednesday morning, so it helps to be ready to search and book right when these deals become available. Flexible travelers who can shift their departure dates by a few days can take advantage of the lower fares. Airlines continue to adjust prices through the week, so keep an eye on fares into Thursday as well. But Wednesdays are ideal for international booking because you'll have the first pick of seats on discounted flights that the airlines have put on promotion for that week. Being ready to pounce on international flight deals on Wednesday mornings can lead to big savings, especially when traveling outside of peak seasons. Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. But let's get back to the topic. When is the cheapest time to buy airline tickets? Buy in September, October, or November. The early fall months of September, October, and November are great times to find cheaper airfare before holiday travel sends prices skyrocketing. After the summer travel rush ends, September brings fewer crowds and lower airline prices, especially after Labor Day, October continues this trend before Thanksgiving airfare starts to climb. The fall is considered the shoulder season in travel, between peak summer demand and heavy holiday traffic. Airlines know fewer people book at this time, so they lower fares to incentivize booking. The weeks in September and October leading up to Thanksgiving offer some of the best airfare deals of the year. You'll find both domestic and international flights discounted outside of holiday weekends. Even into early November, you can score deals before Christmas bookings pick up. Try to avoid school holiday weeks. The fall months have excellent low fares, great weather in many destinations, and fewer crowds. As long as you book early, September through November, offer air travelers fantastic deals and savings before holiday airfare spikes kick in. Don't wait too long, though. Snap up those fall flight bargains when you see prices dip into your range. Avoid flying around major holidays. If you want to save money on airfare, it's best to avoid traveling right around major holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Ticket prices spike higher during these peak travel times as demand skyrockets. Airlines know that lots of people are flying to visit family or take vacations during the holidays so they hike up prices. The weeks right before or after the actual holiday dates usually offer much cheaper airfare. For Thanksgiving, you'll typically find the lowest fares in early November or the first week of December. Flying the days right before Thanksgiving or returning the Monday after will be much pricier. For Christmas and New Year's, your best bet is to travel in mid-December or depart in the first week of January to miss the holiday rush. Even shifting your flights just a few days to arrive right before a holiday weekend and leave right after can lead to huge savings compared to flying on the holiday dates themselves. The small inconvenience of extending your trip by a few days is worth it to avoid the holiday travel crowds and premium ticket prices. As long as your schedule has a little flexibility, adjusting your flights around the holidays can mean big savings on airfare. Use flight deal alerts. One of the best tips for finding cheap flights is to sign up for airfare deal alerts. Sites like Scott's Cheap Flights offer a free email alert service that tracks flight prices and sends you notifications on incredible deals and discounts as soon as they are spotted. Getting these flight deal alerts lets you swoop in and book low price tickets right when they become available before the seats sell out. The alerts do the hard work of continually monitoring airfares and will notify you when rare discount fares pop up for your home airport to destinations around the world. Thanks to flash sales and airline mistake fares, some amazing deals do appear, but only very briefly. 
By quickly booking when you get an email that your ideal route is on sale, you can save hundreds of dollars on flights both domestic and international. Flight alerts are ideal for flexible travelers who can schedule trip dates around the discount airfare. Sign up for alerts now and you'll be ready to take advantage of the next irresistible flight deal that matches your schedule. Be flexible and book when deals emerge. The best strategy for finding cheap flights is to stay flexible and book when great airfare deals emerge instead of being tied to specific travel dates. By monitoring flight prices over time and setting fare alerts, you can pounce when prices drop on dates that work for you. Sites like Kayak and Google Flights allow you to set custom price alerts and get notifications when fares for your preferred routes decrease. You can track airfare on various dates and get a sense of price trends over weeks and months. Then, when you spot a nice dip in prices for flights that fit your schedule, you can quickly book before the low fare expires. Having some date flexibility makes it much easier to take advantage of periodic airline sales and discounts. The most savings happens when you're able to align your schedule around a great flight deal rather than trying to find deals for rigid dates. As long as you can travel within a date range, Staying flexible and booking when airlines offer deals is the best approach to score low fares. To be completely frank, I'm always on the hunt for last-minute flight bargains whenever I travel by air. Below this video, I'll provide a link to my preferred travel booking website. They offer a combination of friendliness, affordability, and cost-effectiveness. Why spend extra on your fantastic getaway? Secure your flight today and relish remarkable savings. Now. Let me go over again the key things to remember. Book early, ideally three months out. Be flexible with dates around one to two weeks. Fly midweek instead of weekends. Red eyes can offer big savings. Tuesdays are best for domestic flights. Wednesday for international flights. September, October, and November are the cheapest months. Avoid holiday weeks. Use flight deal alerts to find sales. Remain flexible and book when you see a deal. And there you have it, the inside scoop on finding the cheapest flights based on the best days and times to book. Saving money on airfare is all about flexible timing. With some strategic planning, you can find affordable airfare for your next trip. Applying even just a few of these tricks can lead to big savings on your next adventure. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I hope this video helped you figure out the ideal strategy to book affordable flights. Subscribe for more money saving travel tips. Thanks for watching and happy travels. We'll catch you in the next video.